Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, I think uh, one way or the other I had to do this. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, I didn't know how to do this video because there is so many type of interfacing, interlining, fusing fabrics out there and I, when you wanna you know, show people how things work and what type of fabric and fusing and interlining and what type of glue uh, would take a lot of uh, knowledge. So, but I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that uh, I have been doing interfacing, interlining, fusing for past 30 years. This is one of the first items that I ever did. But right now, for past seven or eight years, or even maybe 10 years, we manufacture our own fusing, interlining. Goldstartool.com, we have our own uh, uh, fusing and interlining. Uh, and the noise that you hear in the background is uh, our Gold Star uh, heat transfer or fusing machine, you could call it, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna use today. And uh, that's why you hear the auto shut off back and forth. Please don't mind the noise in the background. So, uh, thank you for watching. This is David from Gold Star Tool. Uh, today we're gonna go through three or four major type of fusing or some people call them interlining, or in interfacing. Uh, so we gotta call them interfacing, just to get it easy for everybody. There is no difference between interlining, interfacing, and fusing fabric, they're all the same. The, the interlining that I use are one-side adhesive. They're not double-sided, one-sided. You only have one side of Fusing. I have in general three type of fusing or interlining. One being the cotton, second one is polyester, and the third one is non-woven. Very simple. We have them on our website. And I'm gonna start from the non-woven fusing, interfacing, interlining. If you look, could do a close up here. This is what I did from our uh, uh, website. See, non-woven, fusible, interfacing, inter interlining, okay? We just wanted to cover everybody because people, uh, you know, I'm gonna shut this down, I don't, I don't, people know it by different names. Okay, so, if Jasmine, if you come over, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to just show you what I mean by non-woven. Non-woven, it's like paper they rip apart. You see that? Mm -hmm. You see this? This is non-woven. And there are many, many different types out there. Meaning the weight. We have two major colors, which we always had, white and black, and we have three weights. And the weights are, and today for this video, I'm only showing the heavy weight of that stuff because I know people are using this for bag making, for garment, for different types of stuff. So I got the heavy of the heavy. So on this one, you got lightweight, which is uh, 7.7 .7 ounce, medium weight, which is 1.06 ounce, and heavy weight, which I have, is 1.62 ounces. That's how heavy it is. And people use them for variety of stuff. You could use it for anything. It's our glue is really, sticky glue, see if dots, you wanna make sure you get the dots one. The dots one means that when they were ma making this, they went through the machine and there is a spray, and then there is a roll. They do both technologies to make sure uh, we have the um, glue that sticks on. All of these have been tried. We don't buy our stuff or AliExpress or Alibaba or <laughs> none of this stuff. Those are jokes, we are professional. We sell these to a lot of major international companies that I can't name them here, but these are, you know, go, you know, through washes and all the stuff that you guys do. So now I have a piece of muslin, okay? And I'm gonna, I just cut a piece of muslin and I'm gonna show you how this thing works on a black, uh, how easy. So I have set up the uh, fusing 
and I'm going to just the fueling machine or this is not really a fueling machine I mean a lot of people use it as fueling fueling machine has rollers and they roll this one is a heat transfer right and um, we use a lot of heat transfer machines they come in 15 by 15 and uh, 12 by 12 inch, 15 by 15 inch, 15 by 24 inch, which is this one and a bigger one. So I just want to show you how, see how this is, how this is a muslin and it's light. Mm -hmm. So for people who want to know how this thing works, you just put it on, right? And I'm going to set it up to 20 seconds. Maybe I don't know how much, or how long I'm going to set it up. It depends on your fabric, but just close it. There is two ways of uh, adjusting. With this one, uh, right here, and you could just set it up, and you see, done. Now, you see how loose it was? Now look at this. It's like a piece of uh, uh, stiff fabric, done. See, no bubbles. Come close up, please. We don't see any bubbles, none of that stuff really good and it took me what more than less than five seconds to do it if you think you want to do it more but i don't think you need to do this is perfect okay so this is one kind and we call this a non-woven interlining interfacing the second one that i'm going to show you guys is a heavy duty heavyweight cotton interlining and interfacing same thing and this is cotton see and this is the glue you see how glue it is? Mm -hmm. This is the fabric, it's cotton, 100%, and this is the glue. This is the white, and this is the black. And the black, you see, that's the glue. That's how heavy we want it to be. A lot of bag makers and shoe makers and garment makers buy this from me, again. And this one comes in only one size, one, one size, 60 inch, and it's 4.43 ounce. Uh, per square yard, which is 140 GSM, 100% cotton, adhesive with HDPE. And you could find the prices online. I'm not going to go over the pricing right now, but you could use this for pretty much anything. I sell a lot of these things. It's on website and the uh, SKU number, SKU number is 6020SF. Very, very heavy duty. Very nice. And I have many customers from, and I tell you from all over the world, we sell a lot of these to Australia um, and different countries around the world. We make this, this is one of our own. And uh, I'm gonna show you also on this one, how it's done. So this is the one of my best seller, the 100% cotton, right? And here, down. Here we go. I actually put it on 20 seconds, but I don't think we need 20 seconds, but I did it. Right? Mm -hmm. Jasmine has been really a very... Oh, look at that. <laughs> look. You need nice. light? Yes. See that? How nice it is? No bubble, no nothing. This is the back. This is your fabric. Unbelievable. It's really, it's, it's stiff. Nice. Uh, I was saying, Jasmine, it's a very, very good uh, assistant. And I want <laughs> to thank you. you. And then uh, we're going to go to the second one. I mean, the third one. This is also a very, very good seller for us. It's 100% cotton. And... We call it GS101, and see, it's um, lighter material, and the, the quality is different than the other cotton that I showed you. Uh, I also sell a lot of this. It's a little bit lighter. It's 100% cotton, and uh, we call it GS-101. It's 100% cotton, woven interfacing, um, and is the weight on this one is 
5.9 ounce per yard and the yard is 43 inch. These are 43 inch. Both come black and white. The glue is totally different. See, you could see the back, you see mm -hmm. how it is? Mm -hmm. So this is GS-101. Uh, black and this one is white. And um, I'm gonna try some of the black one um, to show you how it's done. See how, how, so the glue, big part of this is the glue. You gotta make sure what goes into your garment clothing. You can't just buy this off of uh, some people uh, on uh, these Chinese, you know, uh, website. You gotta make sure that they are certified and what goes inside, what is the MSDS, what's inside. Uh, what if uh, some children put this clothing on? Uh, there are a lot of stuff that you have to put into consideration before you go just uh, buy this from, I don't know. So here you go, you see in the back, this is muslin. And you see how you could see through? Mm -hmm. I put it down, this is again GS-101. We sell a lot of this. Big rolls, 110 yards rolls we sell. And I again put it, this is 194, uh, this is not Fahrenheit. This, I put it, this is, and I put it up. Just take a look at this. You see that? Mm -hmm. This is the GS-101. Now, a lot of ladies call me today and they said they don't want to use cotton because they shrink. I want to tell you, most of my fabrics are pre-washed and they're shrunk already. What are you videotaping? Okay, so, if you don't want to use those cotton, you gotta go, you could go with polyester. These are 100% polyester, black and white, and we have them again in three different sizes uh, of weight. We have them in, uh, a lot of people call this woven three cut. We have them on our website. You have them in uh, medium, 1.3 ounce. Uh, we have them in stretch, uh, one way stretch, one, two, four ounce, and we have them in heavyweight that you see right here. It's a 60 inch. We also sell a lot of this. Look at the glue. I, I, you feel the glue back here and you see it's, it's rough. That's what you wanted. It's dots. I don't know if you see all the dots in here. This is a new technology for making fusing, interlining, interfacing. Front is so soft and the bag is rough because of the glue. So they, first what they do is they spray the glue on the fabric and then they put it through the machine. So this is also a very good choice for you guys. Uh, it's 100% polyester and if you don't want to use cotton because you think it's gonna shrink, you could use this one. So, and now I'm gonna also do a piece um, on this one. Again, using the same type. I just you wanted to use the same type of fabric on everything. Uh, the muslin. By the way, we also we 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 are converters of muslin as well. If anybody needs any muslin, um, we also have them on our website. And we this is one of our lines. Uh, we also do have a non-fusible. Uh, tear away, and so on fusing. Meaning when I say non-fusible, non iron on I mean. Uh, because some of these are by iron, some are by... So we have, these are iron on, and we also have a, by the way, I have a lot of good scissors out there, but I don't know why I'm using, you know, scissors that doesn't cut. So here, right? And this is the polyester, heavy polyester. Again, 22nd, uh, 197, 198. This is, these 
heat transfer machine has the auto shut off, meaning it won't go over. You see that cut off, that's the cut off. And this is the timer. And then you just pick it up and look at that. Beautiful. It shows 20 seconds, but it's, you know, makes it really stiff, make it nice. You could shape it. And uh, that's, uh, that's about all the fusing that we do. Uh, again, these are the uh, iron on. We also have a sew on and tear away uh, fusing that you could on, uh, that you could find on our website. We have three major type of uh, fusing. Polyester that you see here. These are polyester. We have the cotton that you see here. And then we have the um, non-woven, which are like fabric, like paper, and you could tear them away. Uh, please visit our website, goldstartool.com. Go to the inner facing, inner lining, uh, fabric section, and you could find many, 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 many type of fabrics and inner facing and inner lining. And also, if you do need any samples, uh, we would be more than happy to send you any type of fusing that you need for your try. Uh, just call, email us, david at goldstartool.com or sales at goldstartool.com or call us at 1-800-868-4419 and we will be more than happy to send you free samples that are fusing or any item that you need. Thank you for watching.